so for today's video I'm going to be doing my room tour for 2016. So this video has been so requested for me to do another room tour and I was like you know what I am going to do another room tour because I love doing room tours and there has been a lot of new additions to my room as I am kind of in the middle of adding more colours to it and making it more colourful and spring and summer like so I thought it would be nice again to give you kind of an update on what I've been doing and give you a really in-depth tour of my room. So yeah that is basically what I'm going to be doing today, this is already a really long video so I am just going to get straight into it. So this is the first thing you see when you step foot into my room. I have explained this in previous videos before but I do actually have a really 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 small room and there's just not a lot you can do with the space which is why I've tried to make it as nice as possible with the space I have because this position that my bed is currently in I can't actually move it because my bed will physically not fit anywhere else because if I had it on the opposite side of the wall it would cover the radiator in the window and it just wouldn't be right and it doesn't fit lengthways along the back of my wall either so I have to kind of have it like this which is why I kind of DIY'd my dressing table and it is up on the wall but I just really love my room and as you can see there are a lot of new additions and you will see that as I talk you through everything in my room but yeah so this is an overview of my room and let's just get straight into the room tour. So starting off with my bed area which is where I kind of always like to start off with because it is the main focal point of my room. So my bed is from Next and it is a long long time ago I got this like this is the only bed I've had all through my life because I just kept it because I really really like it. I think it was quite expensive because it was from Next but as I said it has lasted me like 12-13 years so it's pretty amazing and I'm sure you can find a really similar bed if you are looking for one like this. So then as you can see I just have a plain white duvet cover because I feel like if I added too many patterns in my room it would make it look even smaller than it already is. So I just have a plain white duvet cover which I got from Argos. It's just one of the colour match ones because I don't think I needed to go glamorous with a really expensive white duvet. I just got kind of the cheapest one I could find. And then I just have three bed pillows, three normal bed pillows because I have to sleep with a lot of pillows. And then in front of that I have three of my throw cushions. So the first big one which is the faux sheet skinny one this is from B&M it is fake faux sheepskin that's why I said faux it's fake and um, yeah this is from B&M it was eight pounds and then the pillow in front of that the one made out of rose gold sequins is from Gabby's collection at Primark I loved her collection so much so I just picked up that cushion and it really brings my room together and then in front of that I just have a cushion which I got from New Look and that was eight pounds which I think is the same yeah that's I was gonna say that's the most expensive but it actually they were all eight pounds so I just really really like them and I feel like they look very nice together and they kind of pull my room together so then at the end of my bed I also have some more throw cushions so as you can see I first of all have this really thick fluffy blanket this was from Primark and it was about 25 pounds which is very expensive for a blanket but I've got so much use out of it and I really do love it and then I have two more throw cushions which are from Primark the first one says be happy be bright for you and this was four pounds and then the polka dot gold one in front of that was three pounds and then I just have a little cuddly toy of Marie which me and Amber both got from the Disney store and I I love them. I then have my bedside table next to my bed. So my actual bedside table, it was a gift from my auntie, although I know you can buy them from Argos and places like that. I believe they're around £35 to buy. On top of that, I then have my copper spotlight lamp. This is, I believe, £25 from either B&Q or Homebase. I got it for my birthday from my dad, but I know that it's from one of those places. And then in front of that, I have a Bath & Body Works candle in the scent pumpkin cupcake. And then I also just have this white tinned pot which was only 99p from Ikea with a huge fake green plant in also from Ikea. You'll probably notice that a lot of my room is from Ikea because Ikea is bay and I love it. Now moving on to my favourite area of my room which is my dressing table. So as you can see my dressing table is actually made up from kind of a mirror and a shelf. So the shelf is from Ikea, it's just a lac shelf. And then the mirror was from The Range. I think it was around eight to nine pounds. It really wasn't expensive, but it is such a good kind of like DIY because as I said, my room is just way too small to actually have a dressing table. So if your room is small or you're looking for a dressing table like this, I would definitely recommend just using a shelf and a mirror. And then on top of that and around that actually, I have some fairy lights, which are also from Ikea. I love Ikea fairy lights because even though they're around 15 
£1 to buy. I've had these for three years now and they are still absolutely fine, like as bright as ever. Now I've said that, they'll probably run out, but I just seriously love them. On my actual dressing table, as you can see to the left, I just have the Skura Pot, also from Ikea. These are only £2 and I'm pretty sure you probably would have seen them in every single person's YouTube video, but I just use them to hold my makeup brushes. Then on the other side, I have this plaque that says, happiness is a journey, not a destination. And I love this. It was only $1.99 from B&M and it's just something that makes me really happy because I love being happy. I don't know, it just makes me really happy. How cringy. And then I also have two things by the side of that. The first one on the right is a chevron gold candle. This was from Asda and it was only £5 and it has three wicks in it, which is also nice. And then I just have this really cute white and copper lantern with some flake flowers in because, I don't know, I just thought it looked really cute and it wasn't too cluttered, but it, at the same time, I don't know, just looked really nice. And then as you can see up on the wall, on my right wall, I have this absolutely huge white wicker heart. This was only $9.99 from B&M and if you haven't been to B&M, I would definitely recommend it. The home aisle is insane and everything is so cheap. So if you haven't been to B&M, go to B&M. So now moving on to my windowsill and this is kind of near enough the setup you see when I film. So now you can kind of see a behind the scenes of where I film. But yeah, so first of all I just have a bunch of tulips. I got these last night from Tesco, don't know why I'm telling you where the flowers are from. But apparently tulips are my lucky flowers, so you know, went and bought some tulips. And then I just have this little copper candle that says, not all stars belong in the sky, which was only 99p from Card Factory. like. Yes, card factory. And also on my windowsill, I just have this kind of three geometric -y copper tea light holders. This was £3.99 from Home Bargains, even though I did get it for my birthday, but I chose it, but I really do love this. As you can see, some of the wax have come out of my tea light, so I should probably clean that up. But I really like this. It's kind of like a centerpiece to my room, if that makes any sense. And then finally, at the end of my windowsill, I have this copper wire A, which my friend Caitlin got me when it was my 100,000 celebration party, and I love this so much. I'm gonna keep this in my room forever, and yeah, thank you, Caitlin, for that. One of my most favorite things ever in my room is my memo board, and this is actually a DIY in one of my DIY videos, so if you haven't already seen it, you definitely should go watch it, because this is my favorite DIY I've ever done. I just printed off a load of photos from an app called La La Lab. I'm pretty sure I've, I've talked about it quite a lot so you guys should know about it but there's always a code in the description box down below to get £5 worth of free photos. This video isn't sponsored or anything it's just a genuine app that I really love so you should definitely go do that because I just save a load of quotes off the internet that I like and as you can see I just print them all out so it's so easy and I love it and then I also just have some Polaroids up there of like different memories and I have some tickets to places I've been and it's a new addition to my room but it's a new addition that I really really love. So then as you can see leading on to the back wall of my bedroom I have my wardrobe. This is from Next as well. All of my kind of like main furniture is from Next because again I've had this all of my life. It's one of the best wardrobes I've ever had even though I am looking into getting a new wardrobe because I just don't need a wardrobe as big of this in my tiny room, but it's a really good wardrobe nevertheless. Then next to my wardrobe, I have one of, again, my favorite parts to my rooms, and it is my makeup area. So as you can see, I have the Alex Nine drawers, which I bloody love. I'm sorry that I swore, but I love them. And then on top of that, I just have like a load of other things. I do have a makeup collection already up on my channel, or if it's not already up, it'll probably be coming next week. So I don't know, whatever way, it's either up or it's coming next week. But either way, get excited because I will link it on the screen if it's already up. But I'm definitely doing a new makeup collection because I have a load of new storage and just say my lip drawer is looking amazing. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself, I just love it so much. So yeah, if you do want a makeup collection or if you've seen it, you know, give this video a thumbs up because it's makeup and we love makeup here on my channel. So now I've shown you all of the things that are kind of standing on the floor in my room, I'm gonna move on to my shelves. So the first thing I have is this white wicker basket. I don't know where this is from, it's just kind of one of those random baskets that you have lying about. I then just have this little pot of cactuses that I made up. I depotted some of the IKEA cactuses into this one big pot and I just kind of love how it looks. It looks like a mini terrarium thing. And then I just have 
have some stones which I got from the Sea Life Centre which I actually have a meaning but I can't remember what they mean. And then I just have this little quote that says, live every moment, laugh every day, love beyond words. And I love this quote so much. It's from Card Factory. Then I have this little copper box, which is from H&M Home. Again, I love, love, love H&M Home. I cannot praise about it enough. They have the most amazing copper things. And then I have another white pot, just like I did on my bedside cabinet. And I have another green Ikea plant in there. And then finally, I have my white... Polaroid, I was going to say white basket, I have my white Polaroid with my copper basket which is from Tiger and again Tiger have the most amazing home things. Okay so moving on to my next shelf, I first of all have my DIY pot which I made again in the same video as my memo board and then at the back I have a canvas that says there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs and I love that so much, I got that personalised from La La Lab and then I have a copper terrarium which is from New look and a little copper hexagon box which is from H&M Home. I then have two Ikea cactuses and this light bulb terrarium that I picked up from my local garden centre. My local garden centre which is kind of like Poddington, they, it, well, it used to be called Poddington anyway, they sold amazing terrariums so I just picked one of those up and then I also have this copper basket here which is just completely made out of copper wire, it's from H&M Home and it's full of all of my Yankee candles. And finally on my last shelf which is on my back wall I have this huge copper geometric -y candle holder which was £15 from a tiny little vintage shop in Olney. I then have three books, Lauren Conrad Beauty, Lauren Conrad style and Alexa Chung it. I have my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque which is like pride of place in my room. I just love it so much and I'm so so grateful for it. And then finally I have this white geometric wire house and inside I have another white Ikea pot and I have a load of ivy in it. I've really wanted ivy drooping down from my shelf for a long long time so I'm so happy that I finally have it. So that was the end of my room tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what other videos you want to see down below in the comments because I'm really stuck for ideas. So please, please, please go down below, down below, down there and give me some ideas. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>